Uh, how do I don't spoil? How do I not spoil this movie in a movie review? How to not spoil a movie in a movie review? I got nothing. Here comes the money. I didn't know my daughter. Searching. Let's see. Searching release date. Yep, I'm four days late. So Searching is one of those movies that's it's almost a new genre now where you have the whole movie taking place on the screen of a computer and I haven't seen one of these before. I didn't watch Friend Request. I believe that was on that. Well, I didn't watch either on Friend Movies. I know both of those are there, and I never watched either of those. And I wanted to see Searching because it looks like not so just some dumb horror film that we don't care about, like the two Unfriended films. I saw Searching because of that. And yeah, that, that's pretty much why I wanted to see this movie. Is this an August movie, a September movie? If you guys are asking, it's probably it's September because it came out on August 3rd. Actually, I guess it's an August movie because it came out on August 24th. Whatever. I'm gonna write into it. If I'm not, if I'm pronouncing his name right, I hope I am. John Cho, I think that's his name. <sighs> he's so good. He is the perfect role. He's perfect in this movie. He's brilliant. He has such charisma to him. You can feel his care, the care he has to his daughter, and he did great in this movie. And for the most part, I expected Searching to be good. I didn't think it'd be a masterpiece. I didn't think it was gonna be blow my mind, but I expected it to be good. And what did it do? Yeah. I freaking love this movie. This is a movie that you have to see. It doesn't need to be in theaters. It, I just think it's an essential movie for life. I mean, you should see this movie one day. I don't care if it's at theaters or at home. This is a movie you need to see because it's great. Now, a couple things I was worried about in this movie. One, predictable. I thought this movie could be a bit predictable. I thought it was going to be very, like... I know what's going to happen, I know everything is going to happen, but nope, this movie is, you have no idea what's going to happen. You think you figured it out, you haven't. Now I'll just rip off the problems like a band-aid, because you know, they're there, there are a couple problems, this movie. barely any, but there are problems. There's one thing, this is a minor gripe, but when they're texting each other, the reply of the text is way too fast. Like, that's a really, really, that's what feels like I'm nitpicking, but it was something that legit bothered me in this movie. I don't know why. They're like, they're like, I, they're, they're chatting on the internet. They, they, someone of them types a message, and immediately after, the other person responds. It felt weird and unflowing. I don't know that bothered me. I don't know why. And there were, I think, one or two plot points in this movie. They come up, and then they happen, but they don't really go anywhere from there. I mean, they're plot points, like, they happen, and I don't know why they were there. There are a couple of them. And most of the plot points just mean once something happens and you think, meh, it doesn't really matter, that thing's gonna tie in later in the movie. It's gonna completely change the entire movie. But if you think, I know where this is going, you don't. You really don't. You have no idea what's gonna happen in this movie. By the end of this movie, you're just gonna be... in shock. I mean, I guess if you'd seen every single movie ever, you might be able to predict it, but, I don't know. Well, I've probably seen 300 movies in my entire life, probably more, but I probably don't remember half of them. But I've probably seen, I've seen hundreds of movies, and I couldn't predict this movie. It also, I was very, pretty much invested the entire way through, the entire way through, I was just like, this is going good, this is going fast. This movie has a very fast pace, not too fast, it has a good pace. Because I was hoping this movie wouldn't be too slow. Nope, this movie goes and it, it has a good pace. Now, one thing that was confusing me was, how are we going to be able to see his facial, facial expressions? Like, how are we going to be able to do that? And for the most part, there is like a little FaceTime thing that happens a couple times in this movie. But he has the face, like, it actually is well done very cleverly. Like, the FaceTime is mainly how you see his face. This movie is stitched together pretty much perfectly. Like, when it happens, you're just like, what is going to happen? Like, it is amazing how well this movie was done. Like, how amazingly well made it was. Like, it was made by professionals. And it was made, and it was done right! 
This movie has done very well, and the whole time I was just thinking, I'm loving this. I don't know how rewatchable this movie is. I don't think it's... I don't think it's very rewatchable because simply is because you're, like, thinking, I don't know what's going to happen. I, it is rewatchable. I'm probably going to like it if I rewatch it, and I probably will rewatch it, definitely. But as it's going, you don't, you don't really know what's going to happen. I'm sorry. This movie also understands media. I could see this movie being like, like it would feel like it was made by someone who had no idea how media worked. No, whoever made this understands how media works. And I like that because I'm someone who uses media a lot. This isn't a right. The, the camera cut out again. I you guys probably doesn't really affect you guys at all. It affects me because I'm like great. The camera cuts out. But if you're wondering how that cuts like that, it's because the camera cuts out. And then searching is a movie. You have no idea what's gonna happen. This movie is twisted. It turns. It's intense. It's interesting. It really shows how amazing, how well, how like like what you can do with the media and what can happen with media. What can happen, what bad things can happen, what good things can happen. This is like taken on a keyboard. It is, or I guess a computer. It is, pr I don't have a lot of problems with the movie. I did mention there were a couple plot points that are left hanging and I don't know why they were there. And the text thing, it just bothered me. This is a movie I highly recommend you see. You just died, you just need to see it. One day it's not a movie you have to see in theaters. You just, I like, I think a theater actu theatrical experience would be cool. I think IMAX would be really cool for this movie. I know it isn't in IMAX, but, I mean, it might be, but I don't know. Um, you could see this movie in theater, see it at home, stream it. I don't get to see this movie. It's so good. It's one of my favorite movies this year, which is surprising considering what we've had this year. I'm going to give Searching a 9. You might be thinking it wasn't very close to the 10. It was close. It wasn't, like, really up there, but it was close. It's one of my favorite movies of the year, and I pretty much loved this movie. So I know Stellar Review will, might come out tonight. Probably not. But what do you guys think on Searching? Let me know in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe. I noticed I'm actually wearing the same shirt as I was wearing yesterday. That's weird. See you guys next time. Make sure to like and subscribe. We got more content for everybody. Uh, box office overview is doing good because, you know, it's been getting a lot more views than I think it should. Like, I don't know if it's the best series on the channel. It's quite easily one of the lazier ones. The editing is hard. It's the actual recording that's very easy. Thank you guys for watching. I have to pay to make these videos. I have to go to the theater. Bye!